Welcome back. Welcome back, everybody. Thanks for being here. Let's keep playing Hard Space Shipbreaker. Rank nine. We'll continue our career. I'm liking this music more and more the more I get back into this game. Good morning, Cutter 9346-52. Today's weather report, clear and sunny, with a high of minus 270 degrees. <laughs> <laughs> They've got like that GLaDOS portal style sense of humor going on with this game too. I mentioned it a lot earlier in the playthrough, but yeah, I'm I'm, I'm a fan of that. It's been fun. All right, let's check on the Beulah real quick. Just to remind myself how we're doing with that sucker. Ship Doctor. Hey there, I'm Shippy. I'm here to help you get this ship healthy again. And have a word with Shippy, of course. And hear this banger one more time, because, you know, speaking of great music, definitely a top-tier entry here. We're looking for, for a fuse and a heat sink. Fuses can be found in power junctions and breakers. Heat sinks are found in data banks. Or just floating around the ship. Every now and then. Can we physically annihilate Shippy by writing him out of the program? Somebody's got some PTSD. Somebody had some late nights and cramming for last minute assignments with Clippy. We're done with this one, right? Oh yeah, we finished this sucker up. Did a great job with the Arcadian Persephone. We move on. The Boreas. 16.6 .6 mil. Hazard level 5. Zealous Aurora. Another mackerel. Fairly simple here. Caustic Columbia at 12.3. Scout Patrol Craft Transport. The Cheong 14. Only 10 mil. Not the, not the uh, biggest pot so far. We got 15 mil on the big show. Mark 8. You could look at the minus six for eighteen million. That's pretty nice. A tanker, though. That would be that would be spicy. That'd be a real spicy way to start off the day. That's tempting. That's up there. The Canada. The Eastern Conway. The Lloyd. I mean, that's just a great name. And the Caustic Wilson Express. Oh, speaking of great names, my God, I want to do this just for the name. I'm not going to lie to you. I know it's an easier ship. I, I want to read a book about the Caustic Wilson Express. They've got stories to tell aboard this vessel. But I am mostly being pulled to the Mimus, if I'm being honest, for 18 million. Javelin tanker. I think this could get uh, pretty interesting. So let's try this. And away we go. Morning, folks. Starting the shift clock now. Another day, another dent in the set. <laughs> Anyone want to race me? <laughs> you don't quit racing. You're going to get yourself killed for real someday. Uh, this is Hal. Just wondering how much time is spent chatting on average in a day here. <laughs> Just the crew checking in with one another from time to time. Oh, oh man. Well, as you know, the Lynx employee handbook says that avoiding chatter makes profits fatter. Uh, talking to each other is good for productivity, actually. Hmm. Well, we'll look at the performance reports later and see, I guess. People are people. Oh, my God. Mean we don't take our work seriously, Rhodes. Steiner, right? No need to talk back. Hey now, it's all good, right? This dude. Let's everybody just get back to work. Fine. I'm out of here. Good, good. You should all focus on your work. I was just about to mention that, and I, I was going to say there's probably several of you that can relate to this idea. But how strongly bring or brings back uh, memories of 
a particular uh, manager at one of my two, you know, real full-time jobs that I had coming out of college, who was just such a by-the-book boomer, who I remember specifically even uh, gathered, like, the young group of new hires together a few months after we uh, were initially hired to talk to us about how, despite the fact that this was a salary job and we were only actually required to be here for like 40 hours a week or something, that that was the minimum. And that really we should expect to work 50 to 60 hours a week with no expectation of any further compensation. That's just the way things are. And I'm just, sitting, I'm just standing there listening to him the whole time like, okay, buddy, you bet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm super encouraged by this pep talk, pal. This is this is what I want to hear. And I'm sure I'm not the only one who's had experiences with somebody like that. Yeah, there, there, there's this crazy new concept of being uh, paid for the work that you do. I feel like maybe trying that out. All right, how we doing on pressure? My eyes rolled inside my head. Yeah, I know that. Yeah, you're welcome to my life in that moment. All right, now I feel like... Oh, you know what I'm realizing too, and this is actually something a couple of the commenters have pointed out over on YouTube. Airlock depressurizing. Very clearly, uh, the doors that I've been missing have been the doors inside the walls here, where like every time that I'm traversing through the interior I keep opening these up and flying through them only to completely forget about them uh, once I've you know like depressurized the whole ship and taken out all the power cells and all that so that explains why we've been missing the doors bear opens doors I just ripped them out yeah no I'm starting to think that might be the way to go <laughs> so here I'm gonna do this because I'm pretty sure we can just take this thing. Oh, we can't do that. Okay, I thought maybe we could just yank him out of there. That's not an option, though, apparently. So what do you do then? You got to, like... I was trying to figure this out as I realized that this was the case. Do you have to, like, cut around it or something? Or there's no cut points for anything, right? Yeah, I, honestly, I kind of just want to keep toasting the doors as a joke, too, since they're not even really worth all that much. The idea of a 100% completion rate on the ship is is kind of enticing, but I don't think enough necessarily to, you know, make me care about it that much. Doesn't really seem like there's a great way to get it, though, apart from just, like, slicing it out of the wall once it's in there. Although I guess the easier way to do that then would just be to try to cut it out like this. Airlock Suppose it's worth a shot. I mean... Well, hold on, though. If I'm going to do this, it's probably going to be a lot safer to do it from the inside. Airlock so let's do this. Reshut the door in here. I should probably turn my light on, too. And then we'll just... Yeah, we'll just use this. We'll treat this like cut points. Oh. Wait. No, we don't want to do that. Hold on. Well, all right, that's true, huh? The entire we can take the entire airlock out, but still, then I would have to cut the doors out of the airlock eventually, right? And this is pressurized too, so I don't want to be cutting this. That'd be a terrible idea. Hmm. Use the stinger for the frame, you'll get less waste. Well, that's not gonna melt that, is it? It's not even gonna do anything to this section. Yeah, I don't know, man. I'm not coming up with a great solution to this. I'm wondering how it's intended to be done. I'm gonna come back to this in a minute. I'm also getting super turned around being in there. Where the hell am I? There we go. Goodness. Anyway, I started blasting. Yeah, I mean, we do have gigantic fuel tanks sitting right here, too, that I feel like I ought to probably go ahead and address prior to all this. So, 
My guess is we have to flush the fuel somewhere in this ship. So let's head back down in here again and see if we can't find where that might be. So we did come into here, but I don't think I actually saw anything that would be related to that. We do have this thruster that we can probably take out pretty easily right now as well. And no pressure in this section at the moment. That'll give us a nice little uh, entry point here, so let's do it. Do, 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 do. Okay. Nice and easy. Grab the barge or the uh, thruster cap here. That ain't going barge though. That's going. All oh, right. Yeah, we gotta cut that off. Of course. Of course. Yeah, no, people keep saying I should try this again, too, and I guess... Yeah, I remember doing that. That is a quicker way to do it. I suppose I'll finally try to reincorporate that into our gameplay. I'm just trying to emulate the, uh, the feeling we had of... learning the game for the very first time by... very slowly reintroducing all of these different uh, skills to my arsenal. How is this? Why does this look like it's structurally connected to this thing? I thought normally we'd be able to pop this thing off. What's going on here? I'm so confused. There we go. Okay, okay. Just had to grab it from the other side. Okay, now we send you down to the barge. Not being super efficient with our first day here today, but I'm glad we at least spent some time trying to determine whether or not what I wanted to do was even possible. All right. Into the processor, y'all go. I'm getting real flipped around with the uh, layout of this vessel, too. Come here, buddy. Do, do, do. And that thing's worth a lot. There we go. Okay. We're finally getting started here. Let's let's identify whether or not it's possible to just like get rid of the back half of this, basically. I think that might be a good way to go. Gimau! Thanks for the gift. Welcome back to the pile death. Appreciate that support. This looks like it's pretty safe to just slice off of there. Oxygen reserves are low. Note that excess carbon dioxide Oops. can cause Oops. damage to Link's equipment. There we go. Alright. Back to refill. Do -do -do. Thank you, thank you, goodbye. There's probably some O2 in the ship, but meh. Okay, yeah, we'll do... We'll go safely here. Just in the very beginning stuff. But I don't anticipate to have any kind of complication and then... Maybe we'll try to figure out a way to get these doors, but might end up I just keep hucking them off into the into the furnace. Alright, nice easy cuts here. Like situations like this I wanna be extra careful just because I definitely don't wanna be uh cutting into that giant fuel tank there, obviously. Okay, you need to go into the barge, as does your buddy. In you go. Oop, whoopsie, whoopsie. There you go. You got it. You got it. Nice. They're yeah, making a little money here. You got to blow yourself to Kingdom Come at least once, Bear. I used kinder language than you did, but yeah, I think you you might have a point there. I can't be too afraid of catastrophic failure. I think that's basically 
the payoff everybody's waiting for in watching this game anyway. So yeah, maybe I take a couple more risks every now and then, but I do like to be safe. I do like to, you know, measure twice, cut through a giant fuel tank and explode once. You can survive a surprising amount of fire. Are you talking about it in real life or in the game? I don't know why I think you're talking about it in real life. I'd hope you're not talking about it in real life because I don't think I can survive any amount of fire, to be honest with you. Maybe a little bit of fire. If I could be in fire like a tiny bit at most. I suppose if I was wearing the right equipment. Hell, Andre the Giant was on fire for that whole scene, right? Did he do that himself or did he have a body double? I feel like that'd be a, be a very difficult job to find a body double for Andre the Giant. Careful. Careful. There we go. Do, 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 do. We disconnected here? Apparently not. Be a little on fire as a treat, right? Yeah. Hey, thanks, Woodmaster. Appreciate that. Glad you're enjoying it. All right, I feel like we're disconnected now, right? There we go. There's that beautiful separation we're looking for. Yes, sir. Okay. Body double for Andre is two guys standing on each other's shoulders. <laughs> I feel like that might have actually been something they did for practical FX back in the 90s. Wait, when was that? Was that 80s when that was made? God. Was that 89 or something like that? You gotta do what you gotta do, right? You gotta get the shot somehow. Andre's not gonna do it. Oh, I feel like Andre would do it, though. He seemed cool. 1987, Jesus. It's crazy. All right, Tethers, do your stuff. Haul it on over. I think that's all clear. Oh, yeah, you're disconnected too, aren't you? About one minute remaining. Well, you still got the reactor sitting here, obviously. Let's take care of that. Bonk. Oh! 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 Why? No! No! Goodness. Okay. Woo. That was scary. Got too close to it, I think. Okay, there's a little bit of panic. God. Alright, off you go then. Oh wait, red lights, shit. Red lights! Yes! Saved! Alright, not too bad. Got a lot of work to do still, obviously, but we got three mil out of it. Nah, never seen it, Tofu. All right, off we go. I also enjoy the radio malfunction music. Yeah, it's very Fallout-esque. Good morning, Shipbreaker. This is your daily wake-up call. A renewal. It's been Bruce. Back. 45 months. Thanks for the Prime sub. Welcome back in. Bear hugs if you got them. Appreciate the support. New sticker! Yay! Gotta throw on a new sticker, do oh, boy, it's so fun. Stickers! Oh, I probably got plenty of Lynx tokens for an upgrade here too. I should do that. Sticker time! Alright. Yeah, just just ridiculous student loans divine is all it was. By which I mean, you know, typical. All right, nice little repair job there. Let's see about some more of these upgrades. Noir bot. Five years on the 
Kyle. Welcome back. Keep the bear hugs coming for him. Appreciate it a lot. Thank you for the support. Long term. 60 months. Appreciate it. More tethers. Tether lifetime upgrade, which is probably worthwhile. Can't get the thrusters upgrade yet. Um, Fuel capacity seems good. Why can't we get that one? We have enough Lynx tokens for it. Why is this grayed out? Rank 9. Yeah. That's weird. Renewal. Defenestrator. Resub after resub after resub. 57 months for the Defenestrator. Keep the bear hooks coming again. Appreciate it. Oh, we have the lower tier to upgrade. Oh, okay, yeah, I didn't even realize that. Thank you. Well, let's go ahead and do this. I'll have to get fuels off in that way, and then... Um... These don't seem all that necessary yet. The O2 recharge honestly could be pretty good. I didn't really think it would be very valuable because we get rid of the pressurized environment so quickly. But it's probably fairly valuable. But I still feel like I could probably get something else that's a little better. Hmm. I guess I should do this too. Because this is a lore thing, right? I'm pretty sure. Where you can hear, like, audio logs on the ships. I think, if I remember right. Might not be that at all. But we'll see. Um, I think... I think I'm going to hold for now. Because I'm pretty sure I want to get this uh, O2 capacity upgrade here once we hit rank 10. And we need to have a few more Lynx tokens before that. So, that'll work. Here we go. Do, do, do. Okay. Hey there, Monopoly. It'll be uh, this VOD what that, that we're currently making, so probably up tomorrow. You're up to speed if you've seen everything over there. Alright, we got one more nice little chunk there, and then... I'm pretty sure... Yeah, I'm pretty sure these pressurized areas are, are still contained, which means maybe we should cut out the airlock. Yeah, I really like that barge boot screen. It's a fun addition. I don't think that was in there in early access, so that's nice to see. How the heck? Okay, hold on. I got to think for a second here. I got to figure this out. How do we get the doors? What's the safest way to do that? Because if I shut the doors at any point, they're pressurized. There's a way... I swear there's a way to depressurize the ship but still be able to function the doors or to have the doors function. I could have sworn that was something we were doing before, but how do we do it? Maybe if I find... There might be another atmosphere regulator. And maybe if I find that, we'll be able to do it. So I think I only found one. But this does look like an area... It's probably too small to have two of them, so maybe it's not that. Ah, man. I just can't remember. We might have to just keep tossing them. Okay, there we go. Yeah, let's just keep... I'm also wondering if we actually do have to flush these fuel cells. There's got to be a way... There's got to be another airlock for this, right? Yeah, okay, that's right there. But no, that's... Is this a door? No, right? No, it's just a panel. How are you supposed to get in here? Is there... Oh, there's an airlock right here. Duh. Okay. Okay. And this one's open already. Which means... Okay, so hold on. Are these going to work? Because this is going to pressurize me if I shut this, right? Yeah. Airlock pressurizing. Right. Let's see. Why am I not able to figure this out right now? I feel like I'm okay to just, like, cut around... The interior section here. 
to get all those outer shell pieces. There's also almost certainly another... Ooh, nice. There's also almost certainly another regulator right here. Which... We'll just depressurize this. Oh, wait, this is this is pressurizing this, isn't it? Oh, shit. Well, never mind then. Air pressure level decreasing. Hmm. Let's see. Yeah, okay. I think we're just going to try to... Isolate the airlocks. I still don't know how I'm going to do it. This is driving me crazy. So I must have figured out how to do this at some point. I don't know why it's breaking my brain. All right, get over, over here into the furnace. I always appreciate them giving me the cut points for the windshield. Although it is satisfying to do it myself every now and then. Come on now. You know what? You, you're a tether. You're going to be a lot easier to deal with with a tether. And then let's see. We can just do this. And then boom. Raw material possessed. Nice. What should generally be sent into a furnace? Most of the ship, apparently. Based on our experience. Oh, hang on. This is still... This isn't powered, right? I don't think so. Doesn't look like it. Um... Does this show whether or not the electrical system is powered? I don't know if that's the case. Well, only one way to find out, I guess. Well, there's probably more than one way to find out, but this is the quickest way to find out. Oh, all right. Good enough. You can look for lights on the objects. Right, yeah, they normally show something. Just wanted to double check there. Salvage deposit confirmed. Applying credit. Oh, shit. Whoops. Don't do that. No! What are you doing? Oh, it keeps trying to... It's the F to push and the F to grab stuff out of there are the same button, so he kept trying to yank cables out of that terminal. Okay, do I want to... I think I'm safe to just separate this whole thing. Pretty sure that's fine. In fact, we already did that. So we're good. Just take this off. In you go. Then we got a light up there. Okay. Nothing else in there. No more wall terminal. And then we'll just cut this because it looks like it should be cut. It's going to separate this whole thing. What's this cut for? Oh, okay. That works. In you go. In you go. In you go. After this. There we go. Cool. Easy. Alright, good. So. I'm wondering now if I can do this. No, this is still just going to write. Okay, so we just need to cut this out. This is our first one that we're going to be dealing with. 
We can't get to the inside of this yet, unfortunately, even having removed the cockpit. So we got to find a way to the interior of this, which might be over here. Yeah, it looks like it. There's our power cell as well. But if we disconnect... Oh, oh, wait a minute. Nope, still not getting it. God damn it, because I was like... We need the power cell connected to it to operate the doors. So if I disconnect this from this ship right now, it is, the doors are not going to work. So the only way to get the doors exposed is to shut them now. However, that's going to pressurize the airlock. So how, I still don't understand. <laughs> I just don't know. Feel free to give me a, a helpful little hint, maybe, if you have a way to do it, because my brain cannot concoct a means by which to do this safely. It simply is incapable. My poor little brain. Blow the whole thing up, man. Eh, all right. That certainly is an option. I did say I was going to start doing this again, didn't I? Oh, too slow. Oh, boy. Time to move. Can you make a hole so it can't pressurize when the airlock closes? I guess so, maybe. Cut points can be hidden. Make use of your scanner to see them. Oh, okay. That's interesting. If you set off an explosion in the right spot, it'll blow everything where it needs to go. I appreciate your confidence. This also looks like something I'm fairly sure I can just go ahead and slice off completely. Oh shit, that did not do what I wanted it to. That is close, holy shit. Let me try this again, hang on. We're looking at five minutes left in your shift, Cutter. Do what you do. I mean, uh, that works. <laughs> it's like it's not what it's intended to do, I don't think, but that does the job. It's what we need. So, we'll take it. Alright, just be careful with this one, though. Yeah, that's doing it. There's a terrifying low rumble going on here. That I, uh, would like more information about. But I'm also not sure if I do. Might be my belly. Come on. Come on. Come on, really? Oh my god. <laughs> this fucking thing. Alright, commit. Commit. Commit! Commit! No! No, don't commit. Don't commit. It's can't, you can't do it. Can't be done. Not a good idea. Just do this. Just do that again. And never commit. That's the lesson. Okay. And then just this. Just this little piece is all. Just this little guy. Not that whole big fucking thing. Just this little guy. There you go. I mean, yeah, that does prove your point about the fire, doesn't it? You can handle a little bit, clearly. And you were so scared. Yeah, we should probably upgrade the gu upgrade the cutter soon and also repair it. Okay, I think that's gonna give us some freedom here. Into the barge with you. With a nice big push. 
And that's, uh, that's an end of the barge with ye. Into the barge with ye. Yarge. So much money. In you go. No problem. In you go. All right. That's taken care of. Now, I do believe this is disconnected as well, so let's yank this out of here real quick. Caution. Tether supply depleted. And then we're going to cancel that. Kill this momentum. Send this over here. There we go. There we go. Good stuff. Okay. Let's see here. How's this looking? Processor deposit accepted. This is still structurally attached. But where at? Looks like on the inside. Maybe no, that's all. Hmm. Yeah, those ion ring segments are big money for sure. Is this all just connected to the whole? Wait, no, this is disconnected, isn't it? I don't think this is even attached to anything anymore. I think it's just really heavy. This says 5,000, and that's 64,000. Yeah, yeah, exactly, so... We're getting down to the wire. Let's put a bow on this shift. I think we can probably yank that off of there. Once we get... Yeah, we just gotta get rid of this thing in the way. Which we should be able to do real quick here. There we go. Mm-hmm. And off it goes. I'm just gonna shove that up with my head. As is proper ship breaking protocol. And away with you. In you go. Great. All right. We got one more big old ion ring thing here to take care of as well. We'll just shove that in the processor. Sweet, dude. Another three million. Haven't even destroyed anything yet. Look at me go. Good stuff. Some more Lynx tokens. Nice. I keep thinking about getting this, but I think I love watching it way more than I'd like playing it. Yeah, that could be the case. If it looks good, I highly recommend at least checking it out, though. Because I am a huge fan of this game. Excuse me, wife. Hello. Hello, my love. Uh, what am I doing here? I think we're just getting right back to it. Because like I said, I want to save my Lynx tokens for that oxygen upgrade, so... Yeah, let's go ahead and hop back in there. Hey, Ramlatch. There are heat sinks on this ship, so... I'm going to try to find one here. Oh, yeah, the cutter, right? Thank you. I knew there was something I was forgetting. And then we probably want to go ahead and get that uh, cutter upgrade as well. Heat capacity upgrade. There we go. There we go. All right, let's do it. See if maybe we can handle these fuel tanks this time. That's a good way to start the day. Quick 100k out of the gate. Oh, I should get tethers too. I keep forgetting that. I'm feeling weirdly good, babe. Yeah, I haven't even talked about this yet. So Elise and I had a real fun day yesterday. Uh, several drinks late into the night, and I was fully expecting to have to use Memorial Day as an excuse to uh, take the day off here. But I woke up feeling great. <laughs> like, it really should not be the case at all. I don't understand it. Especially because Elise has got a pretty nasty headache. 
Apparently, uh, there's there's something left of my youth, providing me the capability of. Did I seriously not buy tethers? Oh my god. It's because you're bragging about your youth. Welcome to Venetron 9000. You selfish jerk. Anyway, yeah, I'm I'm feeling great. Shockingly. Glad to be here. Come on, you got this right. Come on. Right past there. Keep the tether on there. Keep the tether on there. Oh, beautiful. Good job. And look at that. Yeah, this thing's totally disconnected. So let's, uh... We gotta just get it off of there first, which it's basically already done. Just gotta dislodge it a little further. Which I don't know if this is actually moving it. Yeah, I don't think that's actually moving it. So we just gotta use the anchor here to give it a quick little yank off of the main portion. And then it's gonna probably need like two or three tethers to get over here to the processor. That's probably good enough. Right to there, buddy. Yeah, let's do like right there as well, up to the top. Just like that, no sweat. Whole big shell piece taken care of. That shit doesn't even look like it's gonna fit in there. That is massive. I think we're good though. Alright! We're in here now. Go ahead and finish this off, I guess. This certainly is a lot more efficient, isn't it? Sure is. In you go. In you go, buddy. In you go, buddy. That's it for that, right? Yep. See ya. Alright, still got a couple of cut points on this one. Gonna just permanently gum up the processor on that side. It's like clogging the toilet, but with massive ship parts. Seems good. Seems good. Okay. Give me that. And that is one more giant chunk ready to be salvaged. Off you go. Massive ship parts rather than massive shit for- yeah, I mean, no, it was good. Sometimes toilet humor is good. Like, that was good. I'm gonna get this full point still. I know we shouldn't feel good about it, but I do. For you. It's, 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 it's at least pretty clever. You know? It's got some redeemable qualities. Alright, I think it's... I'm, I'm putting it off here, but we're, we're getting closer and closer to the time where I do have to figure this out. I'm also still not sure if we actually have to flush these things. Maybe it's this console. Exactly what you want to hear about a joke. It has some redeemable qualities. <laughs> yeah, that's always a spirit booster, huh? <laughs> All right, it's not that terminal either, I guess. There is this thing down here. Hold on, what is this? Yo, I needed that. All right, we got one. If you cut a hole in the tanks, they empty themselves. <laughs> you guys are being very helpful today. Thank you. Super good advice. Yeah, it looks like I'm doing this. Which seems fairly safe. Okay. Mm. 
Bear, what's the red in the barge? Good question. Uh, I think that's just... God, I wish I had, like, binoculars or something. That's part of the ion ring, which... Should have gotten collected. I don't know if it didn't for some reason. Looks like it might have glitched. Usually if that happens, it ends up collecting in the next shift, so... Hopefully we'll still get it. Get these lights out of here. Red and barge means something non-barge is in there. Sometimes you can go pull it out. Oh, really? Hmm. That might be worth looking at. Oh, look at this. Hold on a sec. Is this... Oh, is this what you were talking about? There's cut points for the fuel tank. Oh, no. These are just... Oh, these are just right here. So these are just going to make these pop off, which I'm very scared of doing the big cut around here. So I remember this disconnected these things. I remember the last time we had this ship, we didn't even have any fuel tanks on here. But this should... Oh, no, this is still connected. Hmm. Hang on, I'm getting sidetracked. I got a job to finish back here first. Oops. Okay. I got chunks to salvage. Processing object. Applying credits to account. That is still connected. What's going on here? Oh, this this is off. Okay, we're good. We're good. Although this part's connected still. That's what's confusing me. I think the top is still attached via the pathway. Ah, uh, yeah, the airlock. Right. Okay. Okay. Well, let's just do this, I guess. That should work eventually. Hmm. Oh, we're making good headway here. I'm still just not 100% sure how we're going to handle that door situation. If I buy breakfast, am I fired? Yeah, but I'll hire you again immediately. But I, do, I, do, I just have to symbolically fire you, babe, if that's if that's acceptable, if you're willing to deal with that. It's a lot of paperwork, but, you know, we'll figure it out. Seems like the whole ship's going with it. it you know, you're not wrong. <laughs> yeah, it did sort of turn the entire goddamn ship around. Whoops. I might have wanted to be a little more careful with that. Ah, boy. Okay. Five minutes left, Carter. Oh, it's this one. How you use them is entirely up to you. We were out. There we go. Yeah, this furnace is getting hungry, dude. Like Moktra. 67 months. Welcome back in. Thank you very much for the resubscription. Bear hugs if you got them. Thanks for the support. Okay, now to do this. Where I think... Oh, it's because this is attached. Oh, I destroyed something. Oh, no. Oh, well. I do that. 
And then I think that should disconnect this thing, yes. Now this is flowing freely. If we just shove it gently off of its resting point. It's all the way off there. All the way off of there. That's pretty satisfying, isn't it? There we go, nice and easy. And then... Down to the barge with you. Voltrum! Six months. Please don't hit the other fuel tank. It did. <laughs> Thankfully not. Not at a speed that would be dangerous. That could have been bad. Alright, that's not very difficult. We can do that. In fact, ooh, do I dare? Apparently I do. Nice. Look at this. This is going to be so easy. Straight down to the barge with you. In you go. No sweat. Love the little hints of vocals in the game, in the uh, soundtrack as well. That's a lot. Yeah, these cuts are very nerve-wracking. Very scary. Half to you. Thank you for the prime. Nearly a year in the pile as well. Appreciate it. Keep the bear hugs coming. Thank you for all the resubscriptions today. All appreciated a lot. Love to see the bear pile staying big, happy, and healthy and hungry for pile members who try to escape and they're yanked back down into the bottom into the mass. And the fleshy, furry, writhing mass of the pile. It's beautiful. You can generally trust those dots when it comes to cuts. Yeah, this is this is bear from the early access days still pretty panicked about the uh high possibility and I was going to say likelihood almost of one of these cuts going amiss but it does seem that the uh, 1.0 release is quite a bit more reliable with these that's an Elden Ring boss right yeah the writhing bear pile right 100% hidden boss not a lot of people found There we go. Now we're going to use an anchor real quick for this one. Ship's almost done in the middle cutter. One minute left. Shift's almost done in the middle. I've never heard that before. What a strange expression. All right, that's probably enough momentum there. Don't blow up. Don't blow up. Don't blow up. Don't blow up. <gasps> Oh, like a pie. Okay, I got you. I cooked all the way through. All right, there we go. That's a pretty solid thing to take care of today. Got the fuel tanks out of the way. Looking pretty good. We just got to keep the whole ship from getting sucked into the furnace now. And figure out the doors, and that's pretty much it. All right, cool. Seems good. Seems good. Oh, that's a nice big chunk right there. Still got seven million left of the ship. Might not even be a uh, single shift affair here, but we'll find out. I need a couple days on this one. Good morning, shipbreaker. Lynx mandates a maximum of eight hours of sleep. Any extra sleep time will be docked from the next pay cycle. <laughs> 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 uh. 
Oh boy, good thing I woke up on time today. I'm gonna wake up to that goddamn alarm, dude. No snooze button around here. You go broke, yeah. That, that, I would not be able to live by that mandate very well in my teen years, for sure. Alright, still waiting on rank 10 here. Let's get back out there. We're, we've been actually talking about that this entire session, uh, funnily enough, Collector Boy, because I have no idea. <laughs> I, for the life of me, cannot figure out how the fuck to get the doors. Hello there, Rook. Just want to say, you're getting good. Thanks, Lou. We should talk techniques sometime. Cutting is practically an art form, you know? Do you know about the Guardian cut? How to do it? Ooh. The other day. Ooh. You want to avoid a violent decompression? Instead of one cut, make a bunch of fast, long cuts. It spreads out the pressure and avoids a massive blowout. Hey, we huh. can waste some time and compare notes. That would be fun. How do you make multiple cuts something. at the same time? Make it interesting. Think about it. Blue out. What are you talking about, Lou? You're crazy. Lou's crazy, dude. Lou's a lunatic. I mean, it makes sense, but how do you cut quickly like that? Just make multiple cuts in a row really fast? Doesn't seem very reliable. I feel like the moment you make one cut, it's just going to cause a decompression. All right, anyway. Oh, sweet. Oh, I thought that was something useful. Never mind. Do -do -do. Would you stay sane while working for Lynx? Yeah, fair point. It'd probably be a lot quicker than she was to lose her. Lose her marbles. Hey, appreciate that, Ben. Thank I or thank you. I've been loving playing it, so glad to hear that. Roo roo. Who's boofing? What's going on, dude? Chubbs, come here. He's just standing there wagging like crazy. He's just so excited, but he's frozen. Come here, puppies. My, yeah. My puppies, come here. My puppies, come here. Hello. Puppers. Chubbs, what are you doing, bud? What are you doing, bud? Hello. Whoa, whoa, whoa. She's very mad. She's very mad. It's time to wake up, and I need everybody to know about it. Huh, buddy? This is a good boy. He thinks there's snacks. He thinks there's snacks. You're so handsome. Come say hi to the webcam. So where is it? I just woke up. It's right here. She just woke up. Look at her cool hair. Look at her rainbow hair. How cool is that? Oh, look, we got an official Chubbs cam redemption, so this is justified. Thanks, Jared. Huh? Where's the doggy? Oh. I gotta go get uh, bits. Will you entertain them? This is entertainment. This is how we entertain. <laughs> Where's Taffy? Taffy, come here. He's a good puppy. He's a good puppy. Taffy. Oh, you got a close up of the of the underside of Chubbs. <laughs> Hi guys. They're so cute. So handsome. Well, I will sit for a treat. Uh -huh. And I'm she's like, boy. I don't know how to do anything. She, knows how to sit. Good she does know. Oh, oh such a pretty boy. He sits so pretty. You're so good. You're so good. So happy. A renewal. Such good puppers. Taffy. Woo woo. Woo woo. Oh, bless you. Woo. <laughs> I love that her front paws come up when she barks. Little hops. Little hops with her little, 
Her little boofs. They're okay, cute. Okay, bye. Mm, bye. There's that. That's going right here. <laughs> Ugh. Yeah. She is worked up. Very good puppers. All right, so this is where he sits here for about 90 seconds. Wondering whether or not there's going to be additional treats. Realizes that there aren't going to be additional treats and slowly sulks away. And she just boofs in the background. Over and over. All right, where were, where were we? Got this roof separated. Got this boof separated. Fuel levels are low. Fuel levels are low. No, I disagree. If you could just make that not be the case, that'd be for the best. I mean, what if there was additional trees? He wouldn't know unless he waited another minute or so, right? He's got to be sure. Never be too careful. Valuable object processed. Credits deposited. Seems good. Salvage goal reached. Rewards assigned. Mm-hmm. Okay. Still got 12 minutes here. Plenty of time. Gonna go ahead and keep separating the shell pieces. And then, I don't know, man. We might just have to... Might just have to try to violently depressurize an airlock here. That seems like maybe the only way I can think to do it. But of course, if we're gonna do that, then we're gonna be separating these airlocks from the ship. Which means... I gotta find a way to shut these doors and still get outside. So I'm gonna do something like this. Did you give them breakfast? I did. I gave them breakfast. Right. <laughs> so they've had two breakfasts today and treats. So they're very well fed. They're very well fed. That's an oops on my on my end, babe. She didn't, that's true, yeah. She, in fact, she immediately turned up her nose at it. Like, I've already had breakfast. Don't waste my time with this breakfast. I, Chubbs did get double, though, and he is quite happy to take double breakfast. He's got no problem with that. They don't know about second breakfast? Do, do, do. Off you go, then. All right, I believe I've done what I intended to do here. And now... All that's left is to... Well, first of all, I suppose now what we can do... Although I don't think I want to shut this door, actually. Hold on, let me open this one. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Everything's fine. It's all by design. Get this out of here. Into the barge. Oops. There we go. All right, we're going to do that. This is opened up. The airlocks are sealed. Let's go ahead and actually get rid of the rest of the shell stuff, too, so we're not having to work around this thing. So this is disconnected. We can go ahead and send that off. This is disconnected. Let's... Oh, no. Is this not disconnected? No, it's not. Got a few more cut points here. Nine minutes on the clock. Still plenty of time. Okay. Getting a little more confident in the dots here that they're not going to betray me. That's allowing us to make quick work of this section. That's gone. That is gone. Tether supplies are dropping. Very quickly. Okay, that's gone. That's gone. This is working. Two tethers left. 
Do, 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 do. I'm pretty sure I can take this now. As we open this up, we've got the airlocks pressurized and we're gonna decompress them on their own. I think we can do this now. I think we're good. Okay. Let's get these door switches. Let's get this other power cell. Here we go. Get this thing. Do, 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 do. The shifts are over a bit too quickly. I want like 20 or 30 minutes. It'd be kind of nice if you could customize that too, but I also feel like the 15 minutes is a fairly good amount. Like it puts a little bit of pressure on each shift, in my opinion. And it's one of the few incentives I have to actually play efficiently. And like they said, yeah, too, there's always free time mode as well if you don't like that, if you don't like that pressure. But, you know, I guess you're kind of looking for like a balance between the two, huh? Okay, okay. Two more tethers. I'll take care of these last little bits here. There might be lights on this thing still. This is a good way to yank this away from this furnace here, I guess. Flip us all around. Give me that. In you go. Okay. This is looking good. Let's go ahead and start separating these airlocks. And I'm going to be really careful with these. I'm going to be really precise. Wee! Come back! Ooh. <laughs> okay. It's not what I expected, but that might have worked. That might have done it. Let's take a peek here. No, the doors are still closed. But why? Why? I'm so confused. I could have sworn we... Does it open them automatically when it disconnects like that? Oh, there's cut points right there too. Okay, hold on. There. Wait a sec. Oh, hold on a sec. What? What is this? We don't want to do that. Do I? Maybe I do. Hmm. Other side. Okay, okay. Right! That's the one. Duh. And then... But no, that still doesn't give us the door. Because obviously we're separating the airlock here to get this in, in the barge, but... The door is still, like, in the wall, I guess? Hmm. I know it's not worth it, really, for the credits. I just... I feel determined at this point to, to figure out how to actually do it. Rip Rogo! Thanks for the sub. Welcome to the bear pile. Keep the bear hugs coming. For the new member and for Able 100 with the 10 months as well. Thank you, guys. Okay, so I can see the doors there. On the inside. Can I cut... It's all processor? Oh, this is all processor. Okay. Okay, well, then that's fine, then. But we can't get that out of there, I don't think. Unless... Nah, it doesn't really look like it's possible. I don't want to spend too much time doing this, either. I'm running out of... Running out of leeway in this shift. Thanks, Celery. Appreciate it. Okay, so hold on a second. 
If we... So this is shut. And that's shut on that side. Know that. So if we disconnect this the same way, we'll probably get the exact same result and then the doors will open up. Only way so far is cutting door perpendicularly to open to door opening direction while it's open. Okay. But then that would still be, be dealing with the pressurization issue, right? Or no, while it's open. Right, yeah, no, okay. Oh, man, no, I still... Oh, closed. Okay, yeah, now I'm still brain broken about it then. We have three power cells on this guy? Holy shit. That's crazy. Okay, so hold on. So that was still powered then. Maybe they'd open it automatically because it was powered? But no, it would have disconnected and then lost power, and then maybe that had triggered it automatically opening up. I'm curious to see what disconnecting these is going to do before we disconnect the other ones. I just want to try that. Just out of curiosity. That's what I expected. Jesus Christ. Oh. Holy shit. That was close. And we got shot right into the processor there. Yeah, that op that opens the doors automatically. Ah, jeez. Okay, well, certainly gave it a gave it a shot this time at least. Yeah, that was rough. Wonder what a processed human looks like. We almost found out. Red lights! Yeah, I kind of expected this to be a two day job here with the remainder. Because there is still quite a bit of stuff to process in the inside, too. Or not necessarily to process, but to salvage. Yeah, we got no pressure over here. This is one last airlock, though, but of course, yeah, same situation. I'm pretty sure I'm just not going to be able to deal with it. So, let's just cut it out the normal way. I do kind of want to finish over here first, though. Make sure I'm not missing anything. Oh, a poster. Sweet. Thank you. Thank you. All right, that'll do. That'll do. Oh, nearly at the last second. I'll, I'll get a boost at the start again, though. 4.2 left. Even that's going to be tough to get in one shift, so we're going to have to work pretty quick next time. Yeah, I think we're mostly going to abandon the doors. Never been a huge fan of their music anyway, so I suppose it's not the worst thing in the world to leave them stranded out in space. Or, you know, in a furnace. I don't, I don't want to put the doors in a furnace. That just feels mean. They don't deserve that. Good morning, Cutter 9346-52. Lynx would like to share the following inspirational message. The greatest reward in life is the chance to work hard at work worth doing. I don't necessarily disagree with that. I just don't like it in this context. Would you say you put three doors down? I would, actually, yeah. Well, it's more than three at this point. It's more like 300, but... thats I'll give you some points there for sure. All right, still waiting for rank 10. Let's go ahead and fill our last sticker slot here. This one again. Yeah, right there. Double down. 
Last session on this bad boy. I think we can finish. Still looking for a fuse. Not going to find it here, though. Let's do this. Good morning, shipbreakers. I was thinking about all of you last night, and something came to mind. This is a quote from one of history's greatest managers. A <laughs> fella named Jonathan Rockefeller. <laughs> Good management consists of showing average people how to do the work of superior people. <laughs> God, Weaver, that's a good one for you. Maybe write it down or something. Actually, I can just send it to you. <laughs> He's, he's the embodiment of condescension. That is... That is fantastic. That reminds me of when I got... a, uh... Deposit confirmed. Applying credit. I got an audiobook copy of How to Win Friends and Influence People from one of my bosses at one of my other full-time jobs. One of the two. Because I was apparently having a hard time doing that. <laughs> Which, to be fair, I was. Because I was... I think 25 years younger than my next oldest co-worker at that job. Like, genuinely. So I was a little out of place. Didn't quite fit in. Didn't we? we didn't really have a lot to talk about. Me with my passion for video games and them with their passion for literally anything else. Yep. I'm not discrediting the book. No, I've heard the book is actually quite good. I just thought it was a funny thing to get from my boss. There's a little, uh... Hey, maybe try to talk to people more. Hint. Maybe try not... Sitting at your computer by yourself all day. Ditzing around in Photoshop, pretending to be working, but really just going over the same pixel with different colors for an hour. No, I didn't do that. Of course not. I was hard at work on the company dollar. Ooh, another heat sink. Thank you. Thank you. In you go. Applying credit. This is a nice little angle here. One of my bosses bought my coworker a children's Salvage joke book. Accepted. She told a few too many bad jokes. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's pretty good. I like that. Salvage Gimme. We still need a 42690 reward at some point. You got to enjoy these channel point channel point rewards as they stand right now. Quick channel point check, by the way. I know Aries is here. They might not be here anymore, actually, but quick channel point check anyway. Because we do have, crazily enough, the uh, the ultimate redemption. It, it is inevitable, so. Uh, the channel point economy around here is soon to change. I'm gonna more than likely have to change up how we do the Chubbs cam, considering... Um, I'm gonna have to cut this open, aren't I? Uh, considering we're gonna be using uh, channel point betting soon. Once the million point reward has been redeemed. I've got a stupid little thing I made for that, too, that I'm excited about for when that eventually happens. But yeah, soon to come changes in that department. I think I am going to have to make this cut. This is going to make things a lot easier here. Plus, these are always fun. Oh my god, Brack. Okay, hang on. You're getting it in while the getting's good, right? Yeah, if you're talking about getting rid of Chubbs Cam soon, I suppose we better get a redemption in, huh? All right, give me a second here. Chubbs! Guess you get even more snacks, even though you already had two breakfasts today. And snacks ten minutes ago. 
Ooh, okay, nice. That's looking pretty good. Third breakfast. What do you know? In you go. That's the stuff. Nice and easy now. All right, before I forget here, Chubbs, come here, bud. We gotta make it a quick one. Oh, Taffy's here too. She heard tell. Oh, I never even turned off the Chubbs cam, did I? I didn't even realize. My bad. Taking up our valuable screen real estate here. I'm sure he's pretty upset, right? Yeah, no, I'm sure he's having a hard time with this. Come here, guys. Puppers, it's good. Let's go, puppy dogs. You can see him pretty well, right? That's a good Chubbs cam angle. Yeah, he's a good boy. Sit pretty. Sit pretty. Good buddy. <laughs> Puppers, you guys are so good. You guys are so good. Yes, you are. So sweet. So handsome buds. So good. Uh huh. Just staring at my hand where the treats were. And off she goes. Ugh. All right. Please do clip as well. If you're our Chubbs cam redeemer. I always appreciate the clips. So I like looking at them because I like my dogs. They're so cute. Such a sweet booty. All right, you get the heck out of there. I probably ought to just cut a hole in that room, but oh well, it's done is done. Certainly would have made this easier. Oh shit, where am I? What is that? That must be this thing firing off. That keeps happening. Okay, you get the heck out of there. In you go. And then we got a uh, desk and a few lights. Yeah, it would have been a lot easier to just cut a hole in the wall in there. God damn it. <laughs> like trying to get my new desk into my office. All right, there we go. Very quickly. Oh, shit. Warning. Fuel levels are low. That is not Fuel barge. Are available for purchase at the Master Jack. I always forget that. There you go. Into the furnace. All right, let's go refill real quick. Perfect trajectory. Oh, shit. You overshot it. Come on. There we go. There we go. Oh, shit. Tethers. There we go. All right. We got to get to work again quick here. Let's maybe disconnect all these. It seems wise. Demon Rooster. First time gifter. Dropping a five bomb on us. Thank you very much for that. Appreciated. Gifts or bear gifts and bear hugs for him. Oh shit, that sliced right through. See, that's exactly what I'm talking about, dude. This fucking giant beam. Although I guess that one did actually have the dots beyond where I initially placed it, so I should have expected that. Thank you for the gifts, Demon Roost. Appreciate it. Long time lurker giving back to the community. Thank you very much. Appreciate that a lot. Shout out lurkers as well. Okay. This main thing, I believe, is mostly detached. Oh, hold on. One more. Okay, these are now separate chunks, which of course are still around this big middle section, which is not itself detached. So I think actually what I'm going to do here, go like this. Oh, this doesn't cut this, does it? No, it does not. Ah, oh, above cut grade. Oh, shit. Okay. Okay, then. Well, that's going to make things slightly more challenging there. Let's go back to this section. 
Maybe finish cutting this airlock out of here is probably wise. Hey there, Disco, what's up? Get this out of the way and then... And then we can start getting the stuff out of here. I do want to disconnect the airlock itself as well here, of course, so... Finish that up. We got a friendly bunch around here for sure. I love the pile. It was very kind and welcoming and I appreciate it a lot. Yo, there you go. And into the barge with ye. The barge. As it were. I missed the console thing. No, shit, shit, shit. Come back, come back, come back. Don't go. Saved. Hang on. There's a door console in there. Oh, thank God. Saved it. Oh, they're both going in the barge. God damn it. <laughs> Didn't matter at all, but hey. Still. We can still commend him for the impressive move. I think it's time to... Oh, what am I going to do with this? What am I going to do with this goddamn fuel pipe? I guess... Oh, if I disconnect this, I think it comes with it. Yeah, there we go. Okay. And that is going to get it out of the way of this glass, which is why I wanted to cut out anyway. This is all furnace, though, so we can probably go ahead and just slice up the whole thing. So let's do that. Careful of the tank. Oh, that's not what I wanted. But that's still okay. That's fine, not too bad. Get this out of the way, get this out of the way. I said get out of the way! Line up the cut, we gotta be quick here. It's gonna be right about there. There we go. All right, then the up and down. It's gonna be two separate sections again, more than likely, I guess. Yeah, that's the unfortunate part about going for a cut on this kind of wall, is it's probably gonna destroy stuff, and then you gotta do it in multiple sections all the time. Oh, shit, whoops. That was destructive. Come over here. Out of the way. Low on time. Okay, that should have done it. There we go. That's at least this thing gone. Say goodbye. Now, you get in the furnace. I really shouldn't be doing this, but I just can't help myself, apparently. Fuel tanks are so hefty, dude. Goes on the processor. I believe the terminal and the battery go on the barge, so that's safe to send. There we go. Working quick here, working quick. Get this. Get this. Oh, that's gone. There we go. Table goes into the furnace. Let it run, Ben. Thanks for hanging. You go in the barge with the computer stuff. You go into the furnace. And you go. There's another light real quick. And there's another console. That is the majority of this stuff in here. All right, I'm thinking it's time to abandon the lights. I don't know if I've got the time for that anymore. Let's go for this chair. Hey, there's a thumbs up. Nice. Salvage goal five. All right, good stuff. Seems good. Okay, okay. 
Oh, that's another battery pack shit. You need to get in the barge. Okay. If we can detach this... Actually, this whole thing can go in the, into the furnace. Oh, I think it's time to send it, dude. I think it's time to send it. We've got a minute left, too. This is perfect. One minute left, Gutter. Yep, it's just red Stay lights. Fuck on, it. Let's go. You know that already. Whole thing. Whole thing going in. Go. 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 All right, the outer frame. Shit. How am I going to do that? Uh, hold on a sec. We can cut this. Right? Which, th that's going to make this easier to get over there anyway. I don't know if I want to do that. Yeah, fuck it. Let's just send it. I gotta, I, this is, we're running out of time anyway. We got to move. We need all the tethers we can get. Yank this guy over real quick, because I don't think we're even going to be able to get the majority of this in here. Come on. I don't know if it's going to make it. Yeah. Processor's giving it a big suck, too. Yeah, it's probably not going to make it. It's just too big. Just too big, damn it. Oh, well. Missed a little bit. Missed a lot, actually. That's like 1.5. Honestly, not worth another shift, though. Yeah, I should have thought of that before. Should have thought of that before the timer ticked down too low. Honestly, I should have gotten it going, but like the moment that I realized. But yeah, no, I mean, the more important thing is that we hit salvage rank five. Got all the possible rewards out of there. All we really missed is 1.5 mil on the debt, but you know, it's not a big deal. Yeah, 0% destroyed is pretty sick too. Happy with that. Nice. Mm -hmm. Red seal. That'll be a nice O2 upgrade too. Cool. I'm going to finally turn off the Chubbs cam too now that I realize that. Y'all are so forgiving with that. I love it. Hello, ship breaker. This is your morning wake-up call. Ooh, class two reactor. You're now authorized to work on salvage with the following hazards. Class two reactor, a far more powerful, powerful reactant source with greater potential for damage and a more complex extraction process. ECU controls the atmosphere and pressure levels inside a ship as well as provides coolant to the reactor. And coolant leaks, ca coolant leaks cause all surrounding objects to become highly brittle and easily destroyed. Right. Yeah, I remember that. Got a few emails. Hey, nice. Cert rank 10. Good news, Cutter. You've earned clearance to the next hazard level. This means you'll be getting class 2 reactors now. Gnarly things. We'll start training when you're ready, and I'll walk you through them. Oh, they're not so bad. No, oh, they're not so bad. Reactor, you've seen them all, I think. Just factually inaccurate. Ain't really that simple. Yeah, I got a tip for you there, newbie. Don't blow it up. <laughs> <laughs> Cutter, like I said, let me know when you're ready to start training. Don't take too long. <laughs> oh, he's just... He's just the greatest, isn't he? All right. Yeah, there's some more deep lore for you if you'd like to read that on YouTube later. All right. Ship doctor one more time here. We got to find that fuse still. Heat sink installed. Hopefully, find a fuse available on the next ship. Shadow Fox. Thanks for the prime sub. Welcome back, or welcome to the Bear Pop. Appreciate the bear hugs for him. Thanks for the support. File successfully recovered. The Stellar Commission. Phono text reading. The Stellar Commission. Part three. With all due respect to the commission's chair folk, it has been disappointing for many of us average solar citizens to feel like the Stellar Commission hasn't lived up to its promises. 
After the win in the fight against the AI revolution, many looked to the commission to provide further protections for human labor across the system. But continuously the commission seemed outperformed by the more nimble corporations, who were untethered by the bureaucratic process which the commission seemed ever obsessed to observe and follow. As much as we all understand the appeal of following dry rules and protocol, ha, huh, when it comes to protecting real, human lives, perhaps a more practical approach is in order. With Jupiter Gate established, we find ourselves again in a position of corporate dominance at the forefront of human progress, which threatens once more to be the defining factor in the lives of so many hopeful people. We must not allow this to happen again. We require leadership from the Commission. Leadership which isn't fueled by profit, but rather by human respect and excellence. And maybe, in the future, the Commission can put more emphasis on the fostering of collaborative, proactive efforts, rather than reactively scrambling in the wake of ruthless corporate juggernauts. Amen, sister. Amen. Hey there, Mage. So yeah, lots of really nice upgrades available now, as you can see, after hitting rank 10. Managed to grab that O2 upgrade, and then we got a lot more. We got to give, just got to get some more Lynx tokens here. First, it's time to train for reactor level 2. Let's see how this is going to go. All right, Cutter. Time to extract your first class 2 reactor. This one's not quite as simple. Just pull it and barge it, right? Pretty straightforward. Well, I'm sure head office would rather the reactor was in one piece. Pulling this beast without proper prep is a sure way to print yourself a receipt for a new spare. Sure, sure, prep. But you're on the clock, don't forget. As I was saying, like any reactor, it'll melt down soon as it's disconnected from its housing. And these class twos will melt down mighty quick unless you do two things first. First, release the connection to the thrusters. Second, remove the coolant from the ship's environmental control unit, or ECU. <sighs> or just cut a hole, pull it, and bark it. How would you get off this channel? Make sure you clear an extraction route before doing anything, Cutter. Soon as you release the thrusters and mess with the ECU coolant, that reactor will enter a controlled meltdown. Oh, and if you're having trouble finding everything, try using the systems mode of your scanner. Okay, so... Of course, he just explained the majority of this. So, I'm just trying to remember how to disconnect it from the thruster. So this is the reactor itself. I think it's this thing. But of course, like he just said, one important thing to consider here is that once we uh, do those things, then this reactor is going to uh, begin the meltdown process. So, right, yeah, what we want to do first is clear a path so that we can easily get the reactor to the barge, which means that we're going to be um, depressurizing here and cutting out a lot of the shell. So, let's do that. Air pressure level decreasing. I think... That is not the regulator for that section, huh? Is there another regulator in there? Hold on a second. I don't think there was. Thankfully, this is not on the clock yet, so I've got plenty of time to just wander around here. I don't think there's ever a regulator in this section. Which makes me wonder how we're supposed to depressurize it. Yeah, I don't remember there ever being a regulator in the shell. Hmm. How do 
we do this then? There's always the option of violent depressurization via door opening. Which I guess is fine. Air pressure level decreasing. How do you hang on to the wall again? What's that button? Is it control? X or Z, thank you. Yeah, there it is. So we hold Z and then we press F, right, I think? This should be fine. Yeah, this is fine. Okay. Cool. X is the other hand, right? Gotcha. Yeah, I love that feature. I forgot about that. It's a fun way to, like, crawl across the walls and get through this uh, section. Don't forget that your equipment durability doesn't take care of itself. If your gear's acting up on you, best practice is to patch it up in the half. Your tools should be working for you, not the other way around. Can you not have cut a hole while both are pressurized, and when you depressure, it'll do it all? Yeah, I suppose so. I do remember that what I just did typically being um, how I would handle situations like this, though. It seems to be fine. You know, like, obviously, it doesn't seem ideal. There should be a way, I would think, to um, to depressurize that properly without having to, you know, like, hang on to a wall like that. But you got the job done. Okay, so... This is going to be easy enough. Getting this shell out of here for the most part. Mostly want to focus on the middle, of course. Clear out the floor in particular to be able to get this guy out of here really quickly. And if I recall correctly, there's some kind of like housing for this too, right? That I think also requires some cuts. Oh, it's this, right? Yeah, it's the actual... Like, these walls are not part of the reactor itself. You can pop these off. I don't know if you can do that without triggering the meltdown process. I think that might get that started, so I want to be careful about that. At least get rid of the floor before we do that. Do -do -do. Which we're almost done doing. Do -do 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 -do. Oh, I guess I didn't need to do that, but whatever. Okay, time to get these panels. Oh, these are still attached via this thing. go there we go I'm just using the pinpoint one here for safety in you go that was a lucky shot there we are just trying to get you as dizzy as I can here I guess I guess I could detach these things real quick, too. I feel like I might as well take advantage of the fact that I don't have a timer right now. Might as well get the most value out of it we can. Hell, maybe we can do this whole ship in one shift. There we go. I'll just tether you down. Seems good. Timer doesn't start on these tutorial missions until after you complete the tutorial objective. Does It also does not cost you O2 or um, fuel while you're doing this, so. It's good to take advantage of it. There we go. The extreme cheese, absolutely. Good old bear cheese. Now I got this one too. Oh, 
Oh no! Taffy! Hang on, sorry. She's she's going crazy down there. I don't know what what started this off, but she's howling. Taffy! She's sad her mom left. She's down there going, roo, 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 roo. Poor baby. Chubb's had too much to eat and she feels it's an injustice. That might be the case. She does often strongly voice her opinion on, the, on those sorts of matters. Goes. That's just a little nacelle pouch, isn't it? Oh, that is connected to the fuel, though. Okay. Let's be careful with that. And the panel goes. Very nice. Oh, that might shift the ship around a little here. That's eh, probably fine. Boink. She's good, yeah, she's fine. She just gets a little gets a little worked up every now and then. Okay, that is most of our path cleared here. Oh, that is that whole big section, isn't it? Shit, hang on. Don't do that. Not just yet. Because we actually have to work with this thruster here. Okay, so I guess that's as much as the floor as we're gonna get. Uh, let's see, let's get the ceiling out of here too. Get over that way. Hey bearded, what's up? Oh, hold on, hold on, here we go. I missed this one, that's why. That'll make it easier. And that should allow us these guys popped off. There we go, that's the stuff. Eh, scrap it, or destroyed some aluminum on accident, oh well. It does seem to be dragging under there easily enough, and then the ceiling, of course, we can get rid of too. Away with you. Occasionally when you cut points too rapidly, parts of the shell will stick to each other anyway. I see. Oh, for sure, mage. Yeah, if you haven't played this in a bit, the 1.0 release is 100% worth diving back into. I've been having a blast. Okay, so let me... No, I still don't want to do that. Let's... Let's do the coolant thing first, because I'm fairly confident that I can do this and it doesn't actually start the uh, meltdown process. I think I can... Yeah, I think I can do that and then go over here and do the thruster thing, and then I think that would start it. Man, I'm worried about this. I think you have to disconnect it from these pipes, too. Ah, uh, I missed a light. Oh, well. Fuel flush doesn't start it either. Oh, okay. We can do this, though, for sure. And then we pick these up. Right? Just pick that up, I think. Oh, do I have to? T I have to pop it off the wall, don't I? There we go. There we go. And then, okay, that's done. Nice. I believe that's all we have to do here. I don't think you have to interact with the terminal or anything. And then we should be able to flush this, and I don't think that'll start it either. Good. Okay. Oh, shit. Never mind. That did start it. Okay. Take the housing off. Here we go. Great work, Cutter. 
handling both the thrusters and ECU, giving you a nice, long, controlled meltdown. Still, you want to get it on the bars right quick. Mm-hmm. There. Easy. Seems good. Well, Four million. Well done, Cutter. All right. You continue to impress. No problem, dude. Now we just got to work on improving the time. All right. We're done with training. We'll leave you be now. Sweet. Great work today, Cutter. We were out. Thanks, buddy. Okay, back to it. Yeah, no need to actually disconnect it, I guess. In you go. In you go. In you go. I might make it. And in you go. Sweet. Uh, that is not disconnected, though, so I guess that would require doing this, which I'm pretty sure we're safe to do now. Yeah, I think we're okay. Obviously destroying that pipe. But to free that, to send it off, and then disconnect everything else. Into the processor with you. Alright, that whole thing, yep, looking good. In you go. And... Hmm. What's the proper way to disconnect this without destroying any part of it, I wonder? So it feels like the only way to really get that big pipe is to destroy the little one. Maybe there's like a cut point. Maybe this one? Might be this thing. We'll try that. Okay. I don't think that... Yeah, it still destroyed it. There must be a little... Yeah, I guess there's just tinier connection points somewhere. Oh, that did... <laughs> That didn't help at all. Oh, but there's these little bits, right? There it is. That's what you're looking for. There's those tiny little rims on the edges of the coolant pipe, which is, you know, still destroying part of the coolant pipe, but it's a lot less than it would be if you took an entire section like I just did. Off we go. Just take care of that too, I guess. There we go. Might as well, might as well grab these now too, right? I think. Is there a power cell? There must be a power cell attached to these. Somewhere. Oh, maybe not. Weird. Battery pack? Oh well. Let's finish the back here. Yeah, we got these big ass fuel tanks to take care of here too. This will be interesting. There's mama. There she is. Go get her. Go yell at her. I was very mad when you left. It's upsetting. Hmm, this is going to be a little annoying. I got to get this whole thing out of the way here. First of all, I guess I can just toss the thruster into the barge. Roo, 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 roo. And then eh, a couple lights, I might as well. Hooray. I got a sticker for that. Cool. In you go. Okay, and then this whole big thing goes over there. Ugh, you're doing those lights for a meme. I mean, the completionist in me wants me to get them. It's like I said before, if I see it and I think it's salvageable, I'm gonna try to salvage it probably. Don't you give that the big suck, Mr. Furnace. You get over there actually, there you go. Nice little adjustment. That ought to do it. Okay, let's see. 
Do I want to... I guess I might as well go ahead and... Does this fit through the wall? Or no, that's not going to fit in there, is it? I think i got to cut a hole in the wall to get this thing out. Which I'm not opposed to, really. Let's do it. One. Get this light out of the way real quick. Do nice and easy. Measure twice, cut once. Right there. Push you down a little bit. Uh, excuse me. Excuse me, Mr. ECU. Pardon me. Just got to get these cuts. Okay, there we go. And then right there's pretty good. Got another light to get out of the way. Go ahead and get in the barge for me, would you? Actually, that's not going to happen. Oh, well. And right there. Perfect. Perfect. Off you go. That's our ECU. Freed and ready for collection. Beautiful. Oh, grapple damage. That's what that is. We're good. We're fine. How goes the break in today, Bear? Very good. Getting up to these level two reactors, which is fun. Salvage goal two seems good. Seems good. Where'd that bottle go? I gotta get it. It must be retrieved. Come back. Come back. I must salvage you. In you go. Okay. Nice. Nice and clean. Where is the... Something's powering these things. Is it battery packs? I guess we're good to get them off. Oh, well. Oh, jeez, I keep accidentally almost yanking stuff out of there. I have to change that hotkey. Or just that key binding, I guess, not hotkey. Gotta get that bottle. And the light. Okay, that is basically fully excavated. So... Yeah, I still just don't know how to do this. I kind of want to try the cut here. I don't know. Oh, look at that, yeah. Forgot about that light. Hmm. You know what? Fuck it. Try it. Whee! Oh, look! The door came off! Look at that! That wasn't too bad. Get this one. And send it. There we go. That's not bad at all. That only got one door, unfortunately. But I'll take it. Better than nothing. Worked a lot better than I thought it would, certainly. Just sliced it right off. Okay. Let's see here. Let's get this separated. I'm just going to go back to this thing. Okay. Beautiful. Beautiful. What a satisfying split there. And in you go. 
How many times have you smacked yourself in the face reeling in an object like that? A lot. Many, many, many times. Gotta get the lights. Obviously. In you go. In you go. I think I missed that one. Oh well. How many times have you killed yourself doing that? Not as many. A few less. Okay. Seems worth it. Thank you for the necessary O2. Ah, oh, we can disconnect that. Are these both barge? Yeah, these both barge. Just send it. Okay. Now the fuel. Now we figure out how the heck to deal with the fuel. Oh, there's a flush thing. That works. Hey, we dealt with the fuel. All right. Good job, me. Well, hold on, though, because that thing still says it's got fuel in it. Which I think is fine. Thing is, though, even if we disconnect... Oh, no, we've got the cut point on the pipe, I think. And that tells me... I'm pretty sure that there's no fuel in those. Oh, right. You can put your hand on the pipe and hear the liquids. That's the thing that we just upgraded, right? Does that sound mean it's empty? I think that means it's empty. Do -do -do. Do -do -do. Did you hit the lever near the tank gas tank on the pipe? Yeah, I flipped the flush switch. So I believe that means that the tank is still full, but I believe the nacelle and the pipes are now empty. I suppose we'll find out. Okay, we're good. Right, it's the lights on the pipe too, right? Yeah, which I believe were these ones? Are these lights? I think so. Or maybe it's... Yeah, I think it's those things, because those are still lit up on the... Uh, on the big tank here. Oh, babe, I'm sorry. That sucks. That's a bummer. We'll take care of it. No worries. Yo, J. Rodimus. Thank you for the prime. 17 months. Got this game because of you, Bear, but I enjoy watching you more than playing it myself. <laughs> this is the second time I've heard that today. I appreciate it. Glad to... Glad to provide. Ooh, that's a little risky, but I think we're good. Uh, it's on my phone, babe. It's in the uh, the app for our coverage. Hey, let me let me finish up this shift, and then I'll get you get you going there. I think we're safe to do this. Working with fuel is always just a little, just a little scary, but I think we took the proper precautions here. All right, just gonna yank this out right into the barge. Doo -doo -doo. There we go. And we got two more in a cell here. No sweat. I'll just do the quick cuts here, too. Alright, there. Oh, come on. Come on, buddy. 
Get in there. There it is. No worries, babe. Ugh. Not your fault. All right. Quick break here, y'all. Sorry, we're gonna we're gonna take a few minutes to take care of this issue here. We salvaged ten million dollars worth of goods on that run. That was pretty sweet. <laughs> Halfway through the ship, very nice. One session, pretty solid. Give me just a few minutes here, folks. I'll be right back. All right, sorry about that. Here we go. This one's going pretty smoothly. Level two reactor ain't no thing. Good morning, Cutter nine three four six dash fifty two. Woo! Don't be a mule. Vent your fuel. Hilarious. Mules, of course, notorious for hoarding their fuel. Or at least refusing to vent it. We got a few tokens there, so it's probably worth looking at the equipment upgrades for a sec. Uh, I do want to repair my thrusters, too. We're running a little low on repair kits at this point. Maybe be a little more conservative with them. Range upgrade, not so... Necessary in my mind. I do want the braking here. Let's take this. Increase my braking rate and then get more fuel as well. Why not? There we go. Good stuff. Back to it. Back to it. I doubt we're going to be able to get this whole thing here, but we'll do what we can. Get this other nacelle real quick. And then try to figure out how the heck to get the fuel tank. Deposit confirmed. Applying credit. So if I'm being honest, I have no idea right now. I'm sure we'll figure it out. Here we go. Last one. Okay. Come on out of there. And down into the barge with you. Wide open barge for a fresh day. Now, got a couple of things left here, I think. Otherwise, this mostly just is furnace bound. This is not disconnected from here, right? No, it is not. I might want it to be. I think I do want it to be. So let's cut these guys. These will be easy little points to sever it from. And then we can just take care of that entire rear chunk nice and quickly here. Send you into the furnace. Out of tethers. Oh, man. Well, I might only need the one there anyway. There we go. Let's go get some more. 
Do, 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 do. There we go. Okie dokie. How we looking here? We're gonna figure out this fuel tank. Which Okay, hold on. Let's see if we can Okay, that definitely sounds like there's fuel in there. Based on that. So how in the world? Maybe I'm not meant to can we separate this from this entire structure? Hold on. What if we just start cutting shit? So I just start cutting. I just start blasting. We cut away this whole framework. Which we wanted to do last time anyway. It's, it's delightful, isn't it, Dan? Yeah, I'm having a great time with this again. These four at least. Oh, and then, yeah, you got a cut point right here in the fuel tank, which is very dangerous. Okay. Then another one right there. And that clamp actually... Oh, those both go barge. Okay, that's fine then. There's that. Oh, this is separated. Huh, okay, yeah, no, this will work. This will totally work. Doo -doo -doo. Come on. There you go. We hardly even needed to do the frame here. You can just take it off from those two cut points, I think. Although that does, of course free this, which is going to make things easier. Because then we can just go ahead and yeet this into the furnace. Say adios. Hopefully that'll nudge that other part in there. Uh, maybe not. Eh, it's probably going to get in there anyway. We're good. Alright. There's the fuel tank taken care of. In you go. Big ass fuel tank, dude. That ought to be worth a pretty penny. A hundred thousand? Pocket change, dude. The clamp was worth almost as much as the tank itself. Well, that's disappointing. Oh well. Yeet the fuel tank into the, into the furnace to dispose of it more quickly. Foolproof plan. Uh, let's see. That is free, isn't it? Hold on. That is, no, that's that's connected. Hmm. This whole thing is free. There we go. That's the stuff. That does have pipes attached. Hmm. I think we can do this too. Because this should be flushed. So we can disconnect all these pipes right here. Okay. And that should allow us to manipulate them. So those should be disconnected elements now. Nice. Okay. They're just a little entangled with one another here. If I can just separate them a little bit. Oh, boy. <laughs> Come here. Oh, they do both go in the processor, don't they? Yeah, so I suppose it was a little pointless. Okay, well, hold on. Let's just do this. Because this is going to get this big job done pretty easily. And then we'll just take care of these individually. Yeah, really, I don't know if there's even a point actually to doing that. It's 
Doesn't make this easier to deal with. This thing's still fucking huge, though. Jesus. Okay, one down. Let's see. Get this. Up and over. That ought to do it pretty well. In you go. You get a little bit more momentum going that way. A little bit more going that way. Come on. How about that? There, it'll, that'll do it. And in you go. In you go. In you go. And these guys. That's pretty much good. Yeah, some unnecessary separations there, but that did the job pretty well. Okay. Airlock depressure. Do do do. Okay. I mean, I guess we'll just do this this way. Oh. Okay. Yay, posters! That I already have, but still, I can pretend to be excited. That regulator does not look like it's working. Is it? No, it's not. Huh. Okay. Weird. Oh boy! Oh shit! Oh fuck. Okay. All according to plan. That's all according to plan! We're fine. Airlock pressurizing. Do it again! Airlock depressurizing. It was so much fun the last time. Okay. Okay. Another poster. This is safe. Good to go here. Okay. Let's try to take care of the cockpit again real quick. Right there. And then... Come on, get these guys in there. Get these guys in there. Get in there. Not me, though. Not me. Oh. Jesus. Okay, okay. Not a teddy bear, but there was a uh, little pink rabbit. Now we got to go say hello to in there. Also, it seems good. All right, Cutter. You got about five minutes to fill your boots. Thumbs up. Five minutes left. Level three. Now, what's this? Nice. We have a filter. And bunny character D. Thank you. Right, okay. So these are powered. Still kind of want to find the power cell here. Especially because we can get in the uh, framework now. There we go. Yeah, let's do this. Let's go ahead and get to work on this shell. Cut her damaged again. No big deal. Okay. Do, 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 do. There we go. Get to work on the easy stuff here. Let's see. Let's get this light sorted out. Do, do, do. Oh, we got the perfect angle again. Oh, whoopsie. Shit. No, do that. No, 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 no. You go on processor. You go on processor. Over you go. 
And let's also go in processor. In you go. We'll take that light. I don't think there's anything else on here. Yeah, it looks good. Okay, that whole thing I think is safe to go as well, along with this. In you go. Nice. Now we're cruising, dude. Now we're cruising. I don't think we even need to disconnect this, do we? Oh, shit. Ow. <laughs> yeah, I think we're just, uh... Oh, shit. What is this? Oh, I thought that was a useful thing. Low oxygen. Oh. Okay, these displays are shut off now, I think. Just a nut, yeah, just a, just a lone nut. Okay, there we go. I better go get out too. There we go. There we go. Here we go. Keep salvaging this cockpit here. I think we're mostly done. Got a couple more things. There we go. God damn it. There we go. I gotta remember to hit F before I let go of that. Okay. reason to separate this stuff, I suppose. This is all going processor here, so yeah, I think we send that. Off you go. Time is winding down, Cutter. Dig deep. Let's finish strong. Yeah, this soundtrack really is phenomenal. I, I, I feel bad for underrating it prior to its 1.0 release. I had so much. In you go. In you go. That is going processor. That is going processor. Good stuff. Good stuff. Another one. There's another one. That is another one. Nope, oh, just kidding. There's the power cell you were hiding underneath. There's another one, I guess, too. All right, good stuff here. Should be one or two more shifts. We might even be able to get this done in one more. It's gonna take a very efficient day, but seems doable. We'll at least get to rank five here. Let's go for it. Good morning, Shipbreaker. Please enjoy the following inspirational message. Success is not the key to happiness. Happiness is the key to success. If you love what you do, you will be successful. Don't think we've got enough here for another upgrade. I'm gonna go ahead and repair my cutter. I think... I'm mostly interested in my thrusters upgrades, and we got the majority of those. Oh, I do want the grapple strength, actually. Let's do this. Oh, wait, that's range shit. Whoops. That's the strength one. Oh, well. All right, we'll save the upgrades now for the grapple strength and the, uh, the charged push force, because those will be really helpful. Here we go. I'm continually impressed with how this game works. It's gotten so much better with time, and it was already pretty great when it was launched under early access. Full agree. Yeah, this has been nothing but impressive. It's gotten better and better. Anarya! 49 months. Welcome back in. Appreciate the resubscription. Bear hugs. Welcome back in. Thank you, thank you, thank you. 
Give me that. Give me that. What's the difference between finishing a ship or starting off a new ship besides the sense of accomplishment and OCD satisfaction? Uh, I suppose there's not really much beyond that. Like, of course, you get the different uh, ranks of completion here, one through five, for how much you manage to do. So I've been trying to get rank five every time just to get as many Lynx tokens as possible. Closer to better upgrades and yada yada, all that. The big upgrades, of course, being later on when you get the higher cert ranks, and then you're able to actually, like, purchase the equipment, which makes uh, working down your debt a lot easier. Okay, there we go. This thing's just floating around in here. There we go. All right, let's go ahead and disconnect this little... Airlock as well. So this is open, right? Yeah. We'll get both of these. Careful on the temp here. Got another grabbable eye object as well. A piston, nice. And another airlock over there. Oh, you also get repairs, repair kits. Yeah, that's another really good point. Another big reason to go for the milestones because repair kits are pretty useful. That should be free, right? Yeah, there we go. Okay, that is getting sent into the processor. Then we got another, oh, that's all going barge anyway, so we're good. In you go. Sweet. Good stuff. Okay, I believe that's detached as well. It's another console. Good stuff. Let's get this going this way. Get you and the barge. Come here. Come on. Why aren't you moving the right way? Oh, I got a little ladder there. Owie, shit. Owie. My noodle. Seems good, at least. Into the barge with you. Into the barge with you. And into the barge with you. Seems good, buddy. Seems good. All right, make a good time here. Gonna disconnect this last little bit. What is this? Oh, there's another airlock, okay. This one might actually still be sealed. Hang on a sec. It is, and I removed, no, I did not remove the door console, so hold on, we're gonna do this. We're gonna grab the wall here. And open this up. Can I not do that? Oh, right, yeah, duh, it's unpowered now. Well, here we go. Whoops. There it goes. Come back. Come back, I'm stuck. I can't move. Shit. Ugh, come here. There we go. Saved it. Oh, where'd the other door chunk go? Shit. Lost it. Is that it? That's something. Piece of panel. Material accepted. Shit went flying. Like in that range upgrade now. A little bit more, yeah. It's not too shabby. That's one way to do it, right? Yeah. That kind of works, I guess. Okay. Oh, shit. Uh, yeah. Okay. I'm getting a little turned around here. Credit applied. I remember what I'm doing. Oh, we got one more of these, too. 
You need to do this and then go like that. There we go. There we go. Okay. Nine minutes. Gotta work quick. I also want to finish off this shell stuff before we get the light or before we get the airlocks here. Seems pretty doable. Salvage secured. Applying credit. This is all still one big chunk though, isn't it? But still can probably go. I think. Unless this is all attached via airlock still, in which case we don't want to do that. Hmm. It's a lot more uh, structurally sound than I thought. Alright, so. I guess we're just doing this. Is that a cut point? Well, it's gone now. Okay. Okay. We'll get this one too. Oh, fuel's out almost out here. I guess I could use a suit repair as well. This has now been separated. Let's go get our fuel refilled first. Real quickly. Yeah, let's get the suit patch. Just to be safe. You never know when you're gonna get thonked on the noggin again and have a suit leak. All right, so we need to get this to the furnace, which means I think I'm gonna tether it down a smidge and then just send it right over. Let's go like this. Oh, hang on, we got an airlock to disconnect. Which apparently is not, oh, it's right there. I think there's one more too. There it is. Goodbye. And now you can go in the furnace. Nice. All right, that'll work. Uh, we had one more airlock to disconnect. I think we can just yank that out of here now. There we go. Into the barge with you. Good stuff. Salvage deposit confirmed. Applying credit. There's that big boom again. That is going processor, whatever the heck you are. And then I believe the majority of this remaining stuff. I think there's a little bit going processor here. You got these things. These little frames, I guess. Oh, and the nano carbon, of course. Yeah, I'm assuming it's the rail gate, and I just keep missing it visually. Material accepted. Destroyed computer terminal. Oh, no, dude. Oh, I didn't realize that. Two of them, I think. Ah, oh, shit, that sucks. I didn't even realize. Oh, no. Man, that's a giant chunk of money. Thankfully, we should still be able to get rank five. Yep, yep, sure enough, there we go. Oh, it destroyed an airlock console too, damn it. Oh man, I'm getting real sloppy here at the end. This is also furnace, hold on a second. Where's that cut off right there? Well, 
that didn't work. <laughs> Here, I got this part. Save that. And last bit. There we go. All right. Not my best showing. A couple of goof-ups at the end, unfortunately, but still rank five. Still, still overall pretty damn good. Get in there, buddy. A little more aluminum destroyed. Still rank five. Yeah, absolutely. I'm still happy with that. Get in there. Get in there. Go on now. That's that, dude. Oh, look. Hold on a sec. That door. I found it. <laughs> it's the half of a door from like 30 minutes ago. Let's go. And in, in it goes. Another thousand credits. Hell yeah. Oh, that hasn't gone in yet either, I don't think. All right. GG. Good ship. GS. Quick tether refill. There we go. All right, we're out of here, dude. Hoorah. So yeah, a console, a couple of terminals, an access ladder, and some panels. Lost about a mil off that one, but not too bad. Again, still got rank five. Had my first class two reactor blow up earlier, melted 40% of my profits. Oof. Oof, dude. That's rough. Hey. Nice. Let's go get those uh, thruster upgrades. Or not the thruster upgrades. The uh, grapple upgrades. Grapple strength and force push. Hello, push breaker. force. Overnight genetic backup complete. Pattern deviation nominal. Have a good day. A large and more complex build of the Helix Heavy Industries Javelin, up to 70 meters in length and outfitted with a Class II reactor. God damn. All right. Listen up, guys. I got something you'll all like. I doubt it. Oh, are you leaving already? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking got him, Lou. I went ahead and got you all clearance to use something that'll make you 10 times more efficient. Easy. 20 times. Ooh. You ready? Oh, God. Demo, listen, charge. Oh, no. Spark free. These will cut through damn near anything. I'm not excited about that. Wait, wait, wait. Spark free? Demo charge it? <laughs> that sounds pretty cool, Mr. Rhodes. Thank you. Uh-uh. -uh. No way. Not a chance. Damn things aren't new. Hell. I've been vaporized by those stupid things plenty of times. Curazon, you're spark free. <laughs> things spark so much you could put one on a birthday cake. <laughs> Curazon, that's it. Come on now, Hal. I'm revoking your privileges for external communication. Damn. You. What? Yeah. Yeah. No comms outside. Jesus, the Hal. Network. No more calls to Mars. All of you need to understand something. I represent the company, and you show me respect. Got it? Hal, let's you and I sit down and talk about this. That's all for now. Best get to work. Not, not a big fan of Hal, personally. It just kind of doesn't seem like the best guy. Hmm. All right. All right. Oh, let's take a peek out the window real quick. I haven't gotten to enjoy the view in a minute. Nice. Sounds like a few managers I've had. Yeah, yeah. One of those is everywhere, I think. All right, that one's all wrapped up. Moving on. $10 million mackerel. 
station hopper. It'd be a little easier. 18 mil for the O'Hara Mark IV Javelin Tanker. Nebulous O'Hara, 10 mil, heavy cargo. The Anemone, 15. Industrial ship. The Ambler, 10 million, light cargo transport mackerel. Another heavy cargo javelin. Oh, nearly 20 mil for the Rising Valentine with a Class 2 reactor and Class 2 thruster as well. The Shepherd Maru. Corpulent Uranus. That's pretty great. Southern the Majorier. Big Valentine. And Salty Jackson. God, these are such great ship names, dude. Like in the Rising Valentine, though, this is probably going to be our best bet here. Let's go for it. Looking for a fuse, which unfortunately we can't actually find on this ship. I'm just now realizing maybe we want to go for something different just to find the ship. Or just to find the fuse, I mean. Yeah, maybe we do go a different route just for that alone. We could go to the Shepherd Maru. That's a fun name. It's got a whole lot of stuff. Got at least a fuse on there. 14 million. It's only a class one reactor, but that's fine. There's still a lot of money on that ship. Let's do it. That's pretty good. Here we go. And we are pressurized here. Looks like we can probably just slice these off right away. Seems safe. Goodbye. Goodbye. Those are all down to the barge, aren't they? Yes, indeed. Easy start. Same here, maybe? How are these looking? The solar sails. Oh, this thing will pop right off, won't it? Yes, it will. Thank you. In you go. Oh, shit. Come here. Come here, you. Get over there. Into the barge with you. I think this one will do the same, won't it? Yes, indeed. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> nice. That's cool. I love that, dude. That adds so much flavor to this place. Okay, clearly still pressurized back here, so I don't just want to cut the thruster out right away. We can keep taking off these communications areas, though. Or array, I guess. Don't go in the furnace now. That's not what you're... That's not where you're meant to go. No, 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 no. There you go. Get away from the big suck. Pop that off into the barge. Nice. No, no sweat. Real simple. This right here is probably safe to remove as well. A little roll cage. I'll probably go ahead and go for a heat upgrade on this eventually. Take this out of here. This has actually been pretty reliable. Wasn't too sure about it, but the, the more I do it, the more confident I feel in its, in its capabilities. And you're gone. Okay, that was easy enough. Send you two. Whoops, shit. That's fine, there we go. See ya. Okay, cool. I wonder if this can just pop off too. Looks like it. Nice. See ya. Oh, that's gone, there we go. Nice. Okay, 
Easy enough on the uh, outside here. Let's get inside and start depressurizing. No sweat, dude. Yeah, this is a little bit simpler of a ship compared to what we've been doing, so it's nice to be able to do uh, do some things pretty quickly here. Mmm, tasty food. Ooh, hydroponics cabinet, that's fun. Love those JPEGs of plants. <laughs> Alright, let's get the atmosphere regulated here. Oh, that's busted shit. So I guess that's just a thing that can happen. You can go in here and the atmosphere regulator can be broken and that just basically screws you over. Um... So, I guess we're doing this. Oh, that's fine. Okay. There's a lot of stuff in here. Holy shit. Heck of a cockpit. Okay. Um... Oh, here we go. Air pressure level decreasing. Okay, then we can do this and go like this. Which is obviously dangerous given the amount of... Ow! Fuck! <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, we're fine. We're good. And then we just go over here. Hang on to the wall. Open that up. There we go. Just a tiny little hole in the helmet. Yeah, you're fine, dude. Don't worry about it. Let me go patch that up real quick. Ow. Jesus, probably should have cracked it open further there. There we go. Yeah, might as well fill that up, too. All fixed. We're fine. Yeah, I'll probably cut out from the uh, inside of the cockpit here, too. In you go. Okay. Let's see. Hey, we get to actually salvage a door, too. It's a miracle. You just rotate, damn it. There you go. I can fit it. Yeah. <laughs> Get out of there. Come on. Please. There it goes. See ya. Right into the processor. Okay. We are fully depressurized. We're into... The framework, we can now work on detaching our thruster here. It shouldn't be too bad now. Go ahead and clear out the shell here. Do, 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 do. This is going to be another one of those weird like structural cable situations it looks like which I'm not super stoked about we'll see how this fares we'll take care of these solar sails real quick too I think we're probably okay to start getting rid of the um, start getting rid of the power cells here I don't think there's any danger there Let's go ahead and tether these guys down together real quick. You attach to you, and then you go down here. Away with you. Come on, follow your buddy. Follow your buddy. There you go. Good work. Yeah, I think we can pop these off. I think we're safe. Warp. There we go. Salvage accepted. Credit applied. A more careful with these cuts. Go ahead and grab that too. 
Three power cells, dude. That's a lot of money right there. Only half a mil. That's a thumbs up, baby. Good stuff. That's a seems good right there. Flip this. Go for the little cut. Go for the little cut. Nice. Hey, yeah, we can fit there. Good. I was worried. Did I get the other one down there already? I must have. Yeah, I think I did. It's still a little concerning when it goes that big. Makes me think it's going to do a little more than I intended. Alright, our airlock is free. Our nanocarbon is not. So, let's see. Yeah, these guys are all... It's all these goddamn cables, dude, isn't it? These weird-ass cables. Okay, well... That's gonna make things slightly more complicated. It's going to town on the cut points here. That's not what you want. Ooh, oh God. <laughs> That's why I usually avoid doing that. That could have been bad. We're good. We're good. We're good. Man, that went right through the fucking power junction box. So that could have been a disaster. Gotta be a little, a little more careful than that. Cutting pretty freely there. Let's just be safe. There we go. Okay, get the cap out of here. In you go. And thruster time. Nice. Bonk. Thing is light as hell. All right, good stuff. Salvage deposited. Applying credit to account. It's going to make this a lot easier to... Uh, deal with the stuff in the rear here as well. I think this is empty. Yep, we're good to go. Send it. Avoid the big suck. I think we're good. Nice. Okay, let's get to work. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. more power cells. Yeah, there's a lot more, I think. Oh, the reactor, too. Right, yeah, that's a, that, that's a little power coming from that, probably. I want to take care of that. Okay, let's see. How are we going to take care of that? I honestly think I am going to have to just do all these. It's starting to seem like the situation here. Grab this. Hey there, tank. That is in the furnace. Material accepted. Credits assigned. Yeah. Yeah, I think we're just going to have to do that. This is nice, at least. Convenient little set up here. I think I gotta play it safe again, though. Nice and easy. Right by the reactor with the laser. Just flawless. There you go. I think it's gonna get on your brother, too, but oh well. Another power cell. My god, it's like, like, the, it's like the fifth one here. This is a well-powered vessel. I don't think there was any O2 on this ship. I don't remember seeing any. There's a med kit. There's fuel. I don't think there was any O2, though. Bummer. Oh, well. Oh, well. Whee! 
And brakes. There we go. Alright, we're doing real quick work on this one here. This is going pretty damn well. This might even end up being a two shifter here. I got I gotta go uh, I gotta get to cutting quickly. Second shift. Ooh, we do have coolant here as well, I just realized. Oh shit. Okay. Looking like you got about a minute left, Gutter. One minute remaining. Okay then. Alright, so these guys are all still connected via the cables. Oh, never mind. There they go. Well, that'll help. Let's go ahead and take you out of here real quick, too. So we can at least get the front sections off. Let's go ahead and get this solar sail taken care of, too. If you're wondering if I'm comfortable using that cutter this close to the reactor, the answer is no. The answer is God no. But we got it. All right. Set up well for the second shift here for sure. Feeling good about that. Just a little bit of structure loss. Not even 0.1% destroyed. Still got plenty to do here. Good start though. 4.6 mil without even getting the reactor is a really good start. So that's nice. If you don't feel comfortable with the cutter, you should switch to spark free charges. They're spark free. Hello, ship breaker. You have one incoming transmission waiting. Hey, folks. Hello. This is a private channel. I doubt it. Dee Dee. You all right? No, I'm not. Taking away my comp privileges? Family's probably worried as hell about me now. I'm working on that, Dee Dee. I'll get your comms back. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Is he actually allowed to do that? He is. Didn't think he would. But he is. That... Does he... outrank you? It's, uh, it's complicated, Lou. Still think he'll be gone in a week, Dee Dee? If he isn't, I'm gonna float over there and kick him straight out of the airlock. <laughs> nice. If I get my hands on him, ooh. All right, hold up now. Let's not get all fire and brimstone. We can still sort this out. Now, why don't we all just call it a day? Get some shut-eye, and we'll hit this up tomorrow, all right? We were out. All right, then. All right, then. He's probably got clones, too, right? Yeah, we're never getting rid of this dude. Good morning, he is perpetual. Partner. Your theta wave levels are high. Please administer two caffeine pods before starting your shift. Can do. All right, I think I already got all my caffeine pods in me. Salvage 10 high gain antennae. Neat. All right. We probably have enough for a uh, quick little upgrade here. Cheeky little upgrade. Let's go with... Uh, we could probably repair the thrusters here, too, yeah. And then it was the grapple. We're going to go with the strength upgrade. And the charged push force. Nice. Good stuff. Ugh. Continue. Still looking for that fuse on board here somewhere, too. We'll find it eventually, I'm sure. All right, let's keep working on the back. Get this reactor out of here. Oh, these are disconnected, I believe, now, so we can go ahead and start sending these chunks off. Away with you. Unless you got a light attached to you. Indeed you do. Thank you. Okay, that's gone. And we have the coolant here as well. We should probably go ahead and take that out. Which I think we're good to just go ahead and pop these off. Yeah, we're good. In you go. 
16,000. Jesus. Come on now. Hardly even worth the time. Salvage registered. Transferring credits. I feel like he used to not be able to fit under there. I feel like they changed that. And I am for that change. This economy is fucked. Yeah, it's hard to really figure out the value of anything. You think something's gonna be valuable, and then it's fucking dirt cheap. And another power cell here. It's like the seventh one on this ship, man. It's crazy. Doo -doo -doo. Salvage deposit registered. Account credited. I feel like Hal would get me written up for accidentally processing a light. I'm pretty sure I've gotten my fair share of citations already from the from the guy. For all the doors I've destroyed in various chunks of aluminum. Doo -doo -doo. Gimme. Gimme. Okay, the airlock is freed. As is this panel, I believe, although I think this is all, yeah, it's all one big piece because of the, because of the cables. All right, I guess we'll get to work on that too. Shouldn't be too bad if we can cut them like this. Yeah, it should be fairly easy still. This still attached right, yeah, because the top part. Ugh. Here we go. This ought to do it. Yeah, you can see it floating apart now. There we go. That's the stuff. Material accepted. Really hardly feels worthwhile even getting these things, but I just like being thorough. Okay, that's good to go. Send it. Now we're going to disconnect this airlock. Send the panel. Off you go. No sweat. I don't think we've got any more consoles on here. In you go. Okay. This whole thing, I mean, we still, I think, just want to do this because the cables are furnace. Since those nanocarbon panels are almost always processor, I suppose it's worthwhile just to separate these to get them in the proper spot. Yet another power cell. Good lord. It's getting ridiculous. Hey, there's a thumbs up. Level two. Very nice. Love it. Finally detaching over there again. Destroyed a cable, unfortunately. It doesn't really matter. Okay, this one's good to go. Send it. Grab that thing. Over you go. No, shit! Ah! No! No! Come back! Over here! Into the processor! Oh, that was so close, Jesus. That was silly. There you go. You're going over here. Come here. Don't you get big sucked again. Although, do stop, because I need the light on the other side, and I don't think I'm going to be able to get it. Shit. Shit. No, no, no! I lost a light! Oh, I'm going to get citationed. Citationified. By Big Hell. Shit. Get in there. Get in there. Soiled it. It's ruined. Ruined. Oh well. Oh well. All right, now. 
Slicing all these cut points. Right under the reactor here. Hopefully divide these sections. Make it much easier to take care of this reactor here. Good to go. Good to go. Nice. Yeah, you can see it coming apart again. Lovely. All right, let's take care of these little doohickeys. In you go. In you go. Grab our cables. Grab our cables. Easy peasy. He's certainly not one of my favorite things to work with in the ships. Oh, we got a sticker again, though. Cool. Such a strange interaction with these and the... The load-bearing cables all over. Yo! Yo! Okay, there's that all taken care of. What happened to this thing? Hello? Tether? What the hell? Right here to there. There we go. Yeah, they're kind of a nuisance, aren't they, those cables? But meh. Not everything's gonna go super smoothly, I guess. Still got seven minutes on this shift, so it's possible we're still able to, uh... Oh, those are still attached. Still able to maybe get most of this done here. This is free to go. See you later. Get over here and go clam. More grapple damage. That's fine. All right, one last little split. And that is all this taken care of. Very nice. That feels good. In you go. Into the furnace with you. And then finally, take care of this reactor here. In you go. No sweat. Good stuff. Oh, here we go. Oh, hold on. What's that? Data drive. Nice. Good. These are just food packs, right? Yeah. Is that a cut point? No. I don't think there's any more here, actually. Just a whole bunch of shit in there. That is more cables. Yeah, they're worth so little, right? Yeah, it honestly just doesn't even seem worthwhile, but like I've said before, I can't really help myself sometimes. Alright, here we go. Getting to work on the, the inner stuff. Let's see here. Those two will get it. Uh, let's just be safe there. I don't even know if this is necessary, but... Yeah, it's a cut point, right? Let's take this off. In you go. Take this off. I'm just gonna pop this terminal here. Continue to work as per usual. Oh, whoopsie. That sent the whole thing careening into the processor, didn't it? Whoopsie. Whoopsie daisy. That was a big ship ship shift. Big shift to the ship. Yeah, easy access to the cables at least. Velasco! 57 months on the pile. Welcome back in. Give him some bear hugs, please, if you got them. I always love to see that for the resubscription. Welcome back into the pile. Salvage deposit 
Loving the series on YouTube so far. Glad to hear it. Thank you. I must do this. It must be done. These are precious seconds, I know, but I can't help myself. There we go. That is processor worthy. And it goes. How much of the buffalo are the lights worth? About 0.001%. It's almost certainly not worth. Down you go. What are you doing there? Okay, good. I got so turned around now. Okay, there we go. Salvage deposited. Applying credit to account. That'll work. Warning. Deposit accepted for processing. Wait, what did I do there? Oh shit, I accidentally processed the whole big aluminum panel. Damn it. Oh well. Welcome to Vendatron 9000. So slick, dude. So smooth. Well, you get in the processor. What are you doing just sitting there? And you go into the furnace. Oh, I think I might have lost a couple of terminals or something in there, actually. Well, I guess we'll find out. Glass. Eh, that's fine, I guess. I can accept that. Right, this is easy access to get all this stuff out of here, so let's get started doing that. There we go. Probably one more shift on this guy, yeah. Doubt we're going to be able to finish this up in a minute or two here. Okay. Certainly getting some nice big chunks out of this. Let me make sure we don't miss any computer terminals this time. Or door consoles. go. There's a battery pack, too. Beautiful. Hey, the ruckus, welcome. He's breaking some ships. That's one minute left, Cutter. You're in the middle of something. It's now on time to skedaddle. All right, then. These off of here. And of course, still plenty of stuff in this section here, too. Got a lot of stuff to get out of that. So, that's for next time. It's definitely for next time. Get these guys on their way, at least. Over you go. Need more tethers, too. You go. Man, honestly, I wonder how much out there actually is left of value here. I'd say there's probably like two or three mil left at least, which is definitely going to be worth it. We'll see. About three mil, yeah. That's worth another shift for sure. Just get the last two ranks, yeah. No doubt. Solid day there, though. Turn this into a three day project is pretty good. We'll probably have some extra time at the end of this one, too. At the end of this shift. Happy with that efficiency. Yeah, we got a lot more loot to get out of that. Hello, Shipbreaker 9346-52. Lynx would like to share the following inspirational message. Some people dream of great salvage, while other people get up every morning and make it happen. Damn right, dude. Damn right. Let's get the, uh, I think we'll get the tethers upgrade here. 
Range might be nice too. Alternatively, I could go for the um, audio recent thing, which might be helpful actually. I'll do that. It seems like that's a pretty valuable upgrade. Be able to hear this stuff. Yeah, I guess that's it. All right, good enough. One more, one more shift on this guy. Hopefully still find the fuse somewhere, although I kind of doubt it. How much time do you have on this game so far? I've got over 40 hours now, but a lot of that is, a lot of that is the early access version. As far as the um, 1.0 release, probably only like 10-ish so far. Ow. Whoops. There we go. Yeah, we still have a lot of um, ranks left to go and probably a lot of complications left to introduce. There's level four right away. Nice. That was easy. Have you died in this game yet? Not in 1.0. I think we died in early access. I feel like we probably did with how much shit was blowing up back then. Okay. So we might be cutting a hole in the front here. If we haven't already. I think we did already, actually. Yeah, I think this is open. So, that'll make it easier. Get the angle here. Let's get to work. <sighs> and you go. In you go. Whoops. Oh, got to handle that, obviously. There we go. Yeah, we still had a ton of value just in this little cockpit here. So much value in this little room, man. Crazy. These are worth a little bit, too, I'm pretty sure. The storage bins. Oh, yeah. Like 80k. Absolutely. Oh, come on. There you go. Go ahead and get this thing out of there. If it'll fit. Oh, never mind. There's one more bin. Do, 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 do. Couple lights here, of course. There it is, rank five. Yeah, it was really just all the stuff on the inside. That's all we needed. That's well, still plenty of money to make here, obviously. All right, I think this is this cleared out, though. We get this light here as well. Oh, there's another console there, too. Yep. Oh, that is a dampener as well. Okay. We'll grab that. Nice. Okay. I think we just need to go ahead and slice this off. And that way we can get the rest of this out of here really easily. Got this light, of course, too. There we go. And the processor. That'll make this a lot easier. All right, nasty crew mattresses. How much for those? Oh, the personal terminals. 20K for the mattress. For the personal terminal, 100,000. God damn. There we go. Little battery pack action. Can almost remove this soft crate from here. No wonder it was so stuck. There we go. 
Well, don't forget the bet itself is 20k too. It's a full, full 40k for the set. It's an expensive fucking bed, man. Must be comfy as hell. Up on out of there. There we go. Space bed, gotta be fancy, right? Yeah. This thing's finally dislodged. Thank you. Ooh, got the mini me sticker. Fun. Okay. Time to finish these disconnections. Do 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 do. Nice and easy, dude. Couple more red lights. All right, that's the majority of it, I think. Ready to send this guy home into the great beyond. We got one more nano carbon panel here. That's gone. We got this whole section ready to ship off into the furnace. Valuable Easy peasy. Credits deposited. All right, well, time to say goodbye to the Shepherd Maru. Fuel levels are low. I don't think we need to worry about that. We got plenty for the end here. Caution. No tethers remaining. That's a bear F right there. For the last giant chunk of the ship. Oh, I guess there is one more little bit there. We can go ahead and push that, though. Goodbye, Shepard Maru. That was a fun one. Yeah, shit. Ugh. Over you go. There we go, dude. Good stuff. Munch it all up. Num, 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 num. Delicious. That ought to be most of this ship. I don't think there should be too much left over in the unaccounted for section there. Oh yeah, there we go. Nice. You should furnace yourself with the rest of the ship one of these times, just, just for a sense of finality. Maybe the last session of this game ever will do that. There we go, dude. The traditional destroyed door at the end. Yeah, can't seem to get away from that. What a great, a great session there. Fantastic. That's a good way to wrap up today. Love to, love to see it, dude. Another rank five, another repair kit, and another hundred links tokens. Let's go. Rank twelve. Intermediate. Good stuff. I felt a lot cooler when, when my name was like Red Baron or something like that. Intermediate just makes me feel like a... Well, an intermediate. Ooh. You're now authorized to work on salvage containing power generators. Power generators are connected to a distributed breaker system to manage flow and output. To salvage safely, remove the fuses at the end of each breaker. Indicator lights on the breaker show the electrical current level. Fuses are safest to extract when at zero current. Once all fuses have been removed, the power generator will be safe to extract. Okay. There we go. Got a bit of a surprise for you this morning, 52. Well, I think we should talk this through a bit more. Yeah, yeah, Joseph. Something you'll learn about being a manager, always be pushing your people. It's how they grow. Now, I see so much confidence on this crew. I think it's time to bump everyone up a hazard level. Hal, this is too soon. Mm. I really don't see eye to eye with you on this. Well... Sometimes you need an outside perspective on things. 
All right, Joseph. Go ahead and train up 52 here when they're ready. Oh, boy. Uh, sorry, Cutter. I'll help ease you into this. Just let me know when you're ready to start training. Well, we're out. We're going to have an interesting day next time, apparently. This man is just not our friend. Phono text reading. The Stellar Commission. Part 3. With all due respect to the Commission's chair folk, it has been disappointing for many of us average solar citizens to feel like the Stellar Commission hasn't lived up to its promises. After the win in the fight against the AI revolution, many looked to the Commission to provide further protections for human labor across the system. But continuously the Commission seemed outperformed by the more nimble corporations, who were untethered by... Oops. Oh, shit, didn't mean to stop that. Ah, well. I'm not super into those, to be honest. Not really even listening that much. Uh, let's see here. Unlock Demo Charge Cut Grade 3. Oh, do we already listen to that one? Yeah, it certainly goes to show how, how much I'm listening to it. Okay. Anyway. Yeah, that is going to be... Uh, that's going to be the end of our day today. Good stuff, though. That was that was a fun day of hard space ship breaking, man. Hand on the window. Staring out in awe. The majesty of space. As we say goodbye. For the day. Gotta go take care of this flat tire, man. So thanks for the support. Thanks for watching. Hope you had a good time.